Alright, so I wanted to make this video to spread awareness of the situation. So it seems like Sega is going to delist over 60 retro games, which is not good. So they are going to delist the entire Sega Genesis Classic collection. This game full of classic games like Streets of Rage 2 and Golden Axe and Sonic Spinball. These games will be delisted on all platforms. And if you guys play on PC, I would absolutely recommend buying the Sega Genesis collection on Steam. The reason why I recommend the Steam version is because it has an official Steam Workshop. You can download like actual ROM hacks, like you can play as like Homer Simpson and Streets of Rage 2 or play some like Sonic ROM hack. That's not the only game they're delisting though. They are delisting a bunch of Dreamcast games as well. Jet Set Radio, Crazy Taxi Nights, and Space Channel 5. These games are all going to be delisted on December 6. I would highly recommend you guys to purchase these games before they get delisted. I play Crazy Taxi so often, and Jet Set Radio is one of my favorite games of all time. The gameplay that you guys are watching is the PC version of Crazy Taxi that will be delisted next month. Most of the ports of Crazy Taxi are pretty bad, to be honest, like, like they took out like all the iconic music in the later ports, but just so you guys know, you can mod the PC version to restore the original music. Now they are making a brand new Crazy Taxi in a brand new Jet Set Radio game, which is probably why they are delisting these games. Even though they are making these new games, this is really bad for game preservation. Or even people like me that are just fans of retro games. I do have a suspicion that they're working on releasing a brand new collection, hopefully containing Genesis and Dreamcast games, and hopefully games like Jet Set Radio Future and uh, Crazy Taxi 3. Those games were exclusive to the original Xbox, and those games are very hard to access nowadays without the use of emulation, so I would love if Sega finally put those in a collection, but I feel like they won't though. On the bright side though, Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 will not be delisted. You will still be able to purchase those games, which is good for Sonic fans, but at the same time they are delisting Sonic the Fighters and, and games like Sonic Spinball that were in the Sega Genesis collection. So yeah, I wanted to make this quick video for you guys. Please get these games ASAP if you haven't already. If you already own these games on Steam or on console, you will still have access to these games and you can still download them. If you already own Jet Set Radio or something like that on Steam, the game will stay in your library, so there is no concern there. Yeah, a lot of people that are subbed to this channel are people that enjoy Jet Set Radio, so I feel like this will apply to a lot of people that watch my videos. But yeah, I'm also working on a massive video. It's been taking a lot longer than I expected to edit this video, but you guys should definitely be on the lookout for that. But that is all for now though, I will see you guys on the flip.